your overall thoughts on this week's practices in terms of just energy, uh, structure, and everything? Yeah, um, practice has been very good. Uh, we've been able to uh, establish that over the last couple of years, and we have enough guys back um, that, you know, we practice hard here. Um, we practice probably a little longer than, than most, and we practice hard, and it's competitive, and try to put our players in uh, uncomfortable positions, mentally and physically, get them used to playing in chaos, uh, because that's really what the game of hockey is, and try to provide enough structure um, to solve the chaos without so much structure that they can't play freely. You know that it's not at this stage of starting the season, but what have you been able to see in the third quarter? Either current or the season's past that we've been able to go uh, not a ton. I mean, we showed a little bit of video on Bridgeport, uh, but they have a new coach, new players. So um, exhibition games don't tell you a ton. Um, so, you know, we, sh we gave our guys a little bit of information, but not too much. Uh, but, you know, I think 95% of these early season games are about yourself, not about your opponent. What's uh, your plans for the whole time? will play tonight. I've really liked him um, as advertised uh, you know when we when we're exploring free agents you know we do a lot of work collectively obviously Jeremiah Crow is our head pro scout so it starts with him Jason Carmanos um, and then into the management group but but a lot of times I'll do research as well uh, for Jason if uh, you know in terms of character and work ethic and things like that if there's guys i know that have played with people and uh every time i called anybody on devin cooley it was always uh elite work ethic strong competitiveness practices his tail off every day uh and guys like playing in front of goalies like that so uh and and like i said as advertised um he he comes every day uh with a really really strong work ethic um, he doesn't give up on pucks. He makes it hard on our team in practice to score on him because he, he plays out pucks at a really high level. So, uh, and I thought in the exhibition game, he played very strong. I know it's an exciting time to hear for everyone, but how excited do you get to Yeah, I'm excited for our group. Um, you know, I guess uh, that, that to me is the big thing. You know, excited for this is the first opportunity for this group of men uh to show publicly to our great fan base what we want to stand for uh what we're going to fight to try to be about this year so uh i'm excited for our guys you know our guys obviously we had a good year last year uh but we've had a lot of guys that have had uh really good off seasons that are hungry that came into buffalo's camp had really good camps in buffalo um, and they're hungry. Uh, they're hungry to become a great team again here. They're hungry to try to get further in their career into the NHL. Um, and, and so I'm excited for our group to take that little first step tonight towards trying to be something uh, that we're proud of. Hello, Coach Carl Jones, uh, Channel A. Obviously, the last time that you guys played uh, at, at Blue Cross Arena, it was rocking for the playoffs, right? How excited are you to get back in that atmosphere tonight? Um, well, you know, I think that we're really fortunate here. The playoffs are another animal, right? As you know, Carl, uh, as you said, uh, from from the amazing crowd and, and energy that we had in the playoffs last year. But um, throughout the regular season, we're, we're pretty fortunate on Friday or Saturday nights as well. Like, I mean, it's, it's going to be a darn good crowd tonight. Won't quite be playoff level, but I'm sure it's probably close to – 7,000, give or take. And um, when you have that kind of crowd, um, you know, something we talked about the playoffs last year is you want to bring them into the fight with you. Uh, you want to give them reasons to be loud, to be rowdy, to be um, obnoxious for the other team. And, and the best ways to do that, right, are, are hits, um, being physical, being hard to play against, you know, shots on goal, scoring chances, hopefully goals with that you know, potentially scrums and fights of things of that nature. Like those things are things that block shots, like those that energize a crowd and bring them into the fight with you. And, and, uh, and it also brings your teammates into the fight with you. So, you know, we want to do those things at a, at a, at a high level right away tonight. Guys, gotcha. appreciate that coach. And also, I know you're a forward thinking guy, but last year you had your best season, the organization did since 04, right? At least in the playoffs. I guess, what did you learn about yourself individually as a coach coming off of a year like that that you can use going into this year? 
Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I try to not ever really look at things in, in terms of how they affect me or, or um, this or that, um, you know, because I always look at it from the team. What do we learn about ourselves? You know, what do we learn about our coaching staff? What do we learn about our young men in terms of how they handle pressure? Um, you know, and I think that, um, you know, we, we believe in what we do here um, and, and, and the balance of development and winning. And you can, that can coexist. And now we didn't claim the final prize last year, but obviously we did a lot of really good things. Uh, over the last two seasons in the regular season and in the playoffs in both developing players for the NHL and establishing a competitive winning culture here. And so I think more than anything, the playoff runs in the last couple of years have more kind of solidified that mindset that we can do both. They don't have to exist in separate worlds. Um, and, and that's an important aspect of the American Hockey League. Thank you, coach. Thanks, Carl. Sure. Since I'm always under the gun to ask something. Hi, Seth. Um, Hi, Daffer. We, we look at this roster and we talk about it every day. Um, it seems deeper. So assuming that you may agree with that, how challenging is it for you every game trying to, you know, play everybody? I know it's night one, but like, I mean, this this seems like it could be a very difficult task. Uh, that's a really good question. That's one of the hardest things to do in the American Hockey League. In the NHL, you, you have a 23-man limit on your roster. And, and um, so, you know, more often guys are in than out. Um, in the American League, there's not that. And, and right now, you know, we're, we're very healthy as an organization, which is a really good thing, both in Buffalo and in Rochester. But um, that, you know, we've got guys out tonight. We've got four forwards out tonight, two defensemen out tonight that are really good hockey players uh, that that are potential future NHL players, right? Or guys that have played games in the NHL. So uh, that is difficult. And uh, we spent a lot of time as a staff. I spent a lot of time individually on that this week, uh, making sure that our players understand the situation, uh, making sure that individuals are talked to so they're not left in the dark about what's going on. Um, usually these things rectify themselves because of injuries or call-ups or whatever it might be, but um, I, I don't ever want my players to not understand where they stand and what's going on and why decisions are being made. And, and that's a balance in the American League because you're not always putting um, the lineup out there that would be the lineup you want to put out to win a championship. Uh, it's it's a balance the the young kids need to play, they need to develop, they need ice time with we also want to win and those players want to help their careers as well. So um, for me, I, the, I found the best way to handle it, Duffer, is just to be completely honest uh, with our players. Um, and sometimes they don't like hearing that in the moment, uh, but I think they appreciate that they're not left in the dark and wondering what's going on. Thank you. We'll see you tonight. Duffer, I have a question for you. Okay. How special uh, was the RJ, uh, RJ way uh, stuff before the game last night? <laughs> uh, it was pretty perfect. Um, just grateful that, you know, we, it, the crowd was, was huge for that type of time of day. And um, yeah, I think it was emotionally perfect. Um, Sandra and the family was, was very grateful and um i you know kudos to the city for for making it happen that's awesome it was, it was pretty cool to watch uh neat to see up there and, and i was curious to get your thoughts on it so thank you <laughs> thank you